Use the rectangular marquee tool to showcase the subject of your photo on a tag. I'm beginning here in expert mode in Photoshop Elements, but the directions are exactly the same in Adobe Photoshop except where noted. Begin by opening a new 12 by 12 inch document at 300 pixels per inch with a white background, or open a new document in your preferred scrapping size at 300 pixels per inch with a white background. Open the tag DST digital scrapper PNG file from the downloads or a tag from your stash. I have already opened a new document and the tag from the downloads. There are a few things to keep in mind when choosing a good tag to add a photo to. Choose a tag large enough to fit the subject of your photo. Some tags are very small, which is great for clusters, but not for photos. Choose a single layer tag with flat edges. The tag can be any shape, color, or pattern, but avoid skinny tags, tags with raised edges, or tags with layers. Let's get started. First, get the Move tool. On the Tag document, hold down the Shift key and click and drag the tag onto the new document. Then in the Layers panel, double click directly on the name of this layer and rename it Tag. Press Enter or Return to commit the change. Then press the letter D to reset the color chips to the default of black over white. Press Control plus, that's Command plus on a Mac, to zoom into the tag. To reposition the zoom, hold down the spacebar and click and drag on the document. Now let's create the clipping mask. In the Layers panel, make sure the tag is the active layer. If it is not, click on the tag layer to make it active. Click on the Create a New Layer icon, Double click directly on the name of this new layer and rename it Clipping Mask. Press Enter or Return to commit the change. Now get the Rectangular Marquee Tool and in the Tool Options, click on the New Selection icon, set the Feather to Zero and the Aspect to Normal. Photoshop users set the Style to Normal. On the document, starting outside the boundary of the tag, click and drag a long selection wider than the tag. To reposition while dragging, press and hold the spacebar. By creating a selection larger than the tag, we will ensure that the mask will cover the width of the tag no matter what shape the tag is. In the Layers panel, make sure the Clipping Mask layer is the active layer. If it is not, click on the Clipping Mask layer to make it active. Then press Alt, Backspace, and Windows, and it's Option Delete on a Mac to fill the selection with black. Press Ctrl D, that's Command D on a Mac, to deselect. If you are using a tag that has a tilt, it is important to note that you will need to tilt the clipping mask as well. To do this, get the Move tool. To rotate the clipping mask so that it's parallel with the edge of the tag, hover your cursor near the corner handle of the bounding box until you see a curved, double-headed arrow. Then click and drag in a circular motion. When you are finished, click the check mark to commit. In the next step, we are going to add a layer mask to the clipping mask. In the Layers panel, hold down the Control key in Windows, that's the Command key on a Mac, and click on the thumbnail of the Tag layer to get a selection outline. In the Layers panel, with the clipping mask layer still active, click on the Add Layer Mask icon. Now let's add a photo. Open the photo carlashootjpg file from the downloads or a photo of your own. I have the photo from the downloads open here. Get the Move tool. On the photo, hold down the Shift key and click and drag the photo onto your working document. Then close the photo file. In the Layers panel, double click directly on the name of the photo layer and rename it Photo. Press Enter or Return to commit the change. The photo layer should be above the clipping mask layer. If it is not, in the Layers panel, click and drag the photo above the clipping mask layer. In the menu bar, choose Layer, Create Clipping Mask. Let's resize and reposition our photo. On the document, click and drag from a corner handle of the bounding box to change the size of the photo. If you cannot see a bounding box, Press Ctrl T in Windows or Command T on a Mac to get the Transform options. If you still cannot see the bounding box, press Ctrl 0 in Windows or Command 0 on a Mac. Make sure the boundaries of the photo remain outside the boundaries of the clipping mask. To reposition the photo, 
click and drag inside the bounding box. When you are happy with the placement, click the check mark to commit. If you are using a tag with a tilt, rotate the photo so that it's parallel with the clipping mask. Hover your cursor near the corner handle of the bounding box until you see a curved, double-headed arrow. Then click and drag in a circular motion. Then click the check mark to commit. Finally, let's group the layers and finish the scrapbook page. Grouping your layers is optional, but I like to group layers to keep my layers panel less cluttered and more organized. I like keeping all the layers that are clipped together in the same group. To group the layers in the layers panel, the photo layer should be active. If it is not, click on the photo layer to make it active. Holding down the shift key, click on the tag layer. Now all three layers should be active. Click on the create a new group icon. Double click directly on the name of this group and rename it photo tag. Press enter or return to commit the change. Now finish your page as desired. Here is my finished page. I love how the tag showcases my butterfly photo and makes it the focus of the page. And here's another page I did highlighting my daughters on our last vacation. The photo had a lot going on in the background, so by zooming in on their faces on the tag, I could focus on their cute hats and braids. For a free PDF version of this video, click on the download link and then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This has been Carla Shute from Digital Scrapper, the very best place on the web to find complete and professional instruction for digital scrapbooking. We help you get your stories told.